Jessica and today I have a humongous elf haul for you guys. This was actually stuff that was sent to me. Um, it wasn't things that I purchased myself, um, but I'm really excited to show them. Some of these things as I kind of went through the box, I they were things that I've already used but they were maybe in different shades or they're brand new products that I haven't tried. So I'm really excited to show these to you guys because there is a lot here and a lot of them I'm really excited to eventually try and then review for you guys. So. Um, to start off, they first, this is going to be all out of order because it all got mixed up, but, and I took things out and tried them. Sorry. <laughs> so the first thing, this is the contouring blush and bronzing cream, and this is in the shade St. Lucia or St. Lucia, and it's their typical duos that they sell, but it's in cream formula. So these I have not tried out yet, but they're certainly wearable colors, although I will say the bronzer looks kind of more orange tinted than what I would typically wear, but um, that seems to be standard for me with the um, bronzers that e.l.f. has in these duos. They're beautiful and I'll still use them to bronze my face, but for contouring, they're not, I mean, they're not really made for that, so they're certainly not useful for me in that way, but excited to try these with a the stipple brush, probably their stipple brush that I'll try it with. So I was excited about that because I had no idea they were selling that in the cream formula. That was pretty awesome. I also have the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder in Fiji, but it's their matte version. Again, had no idea that they were selling these. These I have tried, but they're completely matte, which was, ex I was just so excited. Um, and they're beautiful. These I have worn a little bit, and I really, really liked them. So I'm excited to play with this some more because that's what I've been waiting for from them. You know, I think a lot of us have been waiting for e.l.f. to come out with matte formulas. So yay! Let's see, more of their duos. They sent me the Elf, Turks, and Caicos. I don't know that I'm ever saying that right. And then they also sent me Antigua duo, and then also St. Lucia, but like the powder formula, not the um, cream one. So those were all the duos they sent me. I've tried one of these before. I don't remember, it might have been St. Lucia, and I used to have it, but I no longer have it. I don't remember if I gave it away or what happened to it. But I'm excited. I think the one that I'm the most excited about is Antigua. And let me just open and look at it up close. Because it's got this really beautiful doll pink. If I can get the little plastic off of it. But it's this really beautiful baby doll pink that I love. So I'm really excited. It does have shimmer. But I don't mind that in a blush. So I this is probably going to be the one that I use the most out of all of them. Just because I love the shade of that blush. It's so beautiful. The next thing they sent me were their blush palettes. Now, I did own the dark palette. No, I think I owned both. And I ended up giving them to some sisters just because I <laughs> had decluttered a bit and was getting rid of blush. And now I've got even more. But these really, it was one of those things that after I gave it away, I was like, man, I kind of wish I had it. Because I would see it in videos. I'm like, oh, that is beautiful. I didn't think to wear it that way. Things like that. So I am excited about them. I'm sure I will get more use out of the light. Um, so pulling it out, it just comes like this and it's got the four different shades in it. And of course these are lighter, the other ones are darker. But they are beautiful and gosh, talk about bang for your buck. These are obviously really inexpensive. I mean all of these are. But this has so many colors and so many different things you could do with them. You could almost use this one as like a bronzer, certainly an orangish bronzer, but you really could. So I love that it is quite a range of colors. The dark one is, of course, much darker, and it certainly has some, like, really, really dark colors. This one is almost like a red. This one is really beautiful, especially in the winter. Both of these are, because you can certainly shear them out. If you apply them with a the stipple brush, they'll go on a lot less pigmented. But out of these, I really like this one. This one reminds me of Heather Silk from Wet n Wild. They're, of course, insanely pigmented and just beautiful. I mean, beautiful. They also sent some brushes and these, I thought as I glanced at them, I'm like, oh yeah, I've tried those. And then I was like, wait, wait, wait. No, I haven't. The first one is, these are from their studio lines. So they're usually about $3. This is their crease brush. Now this is much more along the lines of a lot of professional makeup brushes, the shape of this is. So I'm really excited about this. It's really thin, so you can really get in the crease with it. And of course it's called a crease brush, so that makes sense. The next one is their blending brush. Again, $3. They feel really soft. And these brushes hold up really well. I've owned tons of e.l.f. brushes. This is their blending brush and it's just a little bit thicker. So you could, I mean, clearly it's meant for blending, but you could even pack color on the lid. You could put it in the crease. I mean, whatever you want for a buffer color, it would work for that as well. These are $3. 
These are ones that I'll probably end up using more than anything in the universe because they end up being the bomb. And I love the shape and they're really soft. So yes, Elf, so excited that they finally have those out because they're just a little bit different than what they've already had out there eye-wise. So let's see, gosh, there's a lot. They also sent me two of their concealer palettes. I've never owned or tried these and I'm really excited. They sent me light and medium, which is great. I mean, obviously I'd be light, but it was thoughtful of them to send me both just in case. Um, and the light is, got, it has four shades. It looks like they're all really similar, but just a little bit different undertones. Um, so that's always nice. I wanna see how creamy these are. Oh, whoa. These are crazy creamy. And they blend out beautifully. I'm actually really excited to use these. Now, products like this don't work for me as well under my eyes, so I end up using them to cover blemishes on my face. So, you know, it's super creamy though, so I'm wondering it might actually be really nice, like the Eve Pearl one. That's what it feels like to me. And, it, you know, it's nice if your skin tone changes throughout the year, this is the perfect product because it kind of runs the gamut. The medium looks like it, it um, the colors differ a little bit more from each other than the, whoops, the brush fell out, than the light ones do. Um, but again, lots of different undertones. And I just think this is a cool product. It comes with a little brush that just has one end that's really thin that I don't know that I would ever use it, but you never know. When you're in a pinch and you maybe forgot a certain brush, you never know when you might use that. So very cool. Um, the next thing, this I was really intrigued by. It's their HD Mattifying Balm, and it almost looks like a powder, um, like, container, but it is this balm, like, it literally feels like a lip balm, but it has that silicone feel to it when you blend it, you know, or you kind of rub it together, and so in my head, it's kind of similar to, like, a primer, because clearly it's supposed to go underneath your foundation, powder, whatever, it feels like those silicone primers, like the Smashbox one, etc., where it just fills in any of those imperfections to kind of make it a smooth base. I have a feeling on dry skin, this might not work as well, just because I feel like primers like that in general don't work as well on dry skin because it just almost accentuates the dryness, but I haven't tried this yet, so I'm excited. Right now, I have got so much dry skin right here, it's crazy, and it feel, felt like it happened overnight. So I'm like, I was on Vitacost the other day buying a ton of different moisturizers because I was just like, I need to find something that's awesome in the winter because I'm really, ugh. It makes you not want to put on makeup because you just feel it. You can see it. You know what I mean? No amount of setting spray is helping enough. So I will try this and see how it goes on dry skin. But it is pretty interesting. And it does come with like a sponge type thing, which that would be incredibly bizarre to apply with it. But I think you could just use your fingers. Maybe a brush, but I feel like your fingers will do fine. But I'm excited to give it a try because I've never tried anything like that. Okay, the next thing. They sent me... It must be their entire line of smudge pots. Um, they sent me Ain't That Sweet, Back to Basics, Brownie Points, I, I, gosh, Gotta Glow, Pearls of Wisdom, Hit the Town, this is crazy, Poppin' Party, <laughs> Ocean Bound, and Cruisin' Chic. That was a lot. So just looking at them, like, for example, Poppin' Party is like this deeper purple color. Don't know that I'm ever gonna use that to be completely candid. So some of these I just might not open and I might give to a girlfriend or a sister. Ocean Bound is this deep blue. Um, you know, some of these, it's just knowing me and knowing that I usually don't do crazy looks like that, I probably won't use the darker. However, the ones that are more like taupey or like gold, I probably will use. So I'm gonna open this Gotta Glow one because I wanna know what it, I don't know how to open these. So it's just in a little pot little jar. Ooh, it's, whoa. You could almost like scoop some of it out, if you know what I mean. It certainly is glowy um, and pretty. Now, how long it will stay is my next question, because it blends very nicely. It's really soft, almost like a moussey texture, if you've ever used these. Um, and there's no like glitter, at least in this one, which is nice, because sometimes like I used today on my lid Let's Skate from MAC. It was one of their paint pots. But the glitter in it just always looks a little bit chunky. And I like, there are parts of my look today that I'm like, eh, it just looks chunky. And I was trying to blend it out, but there's something about the glitter in that one that kind of rubs me the wrong way, to be honest. But these pots are really, really cheap. I want to say they're under $3. And they have so many colors. So for 
if you are looking for one, I mean, that feels really nice, but I'll have to get back to you guys on how these wear because I am curious, but they certainly have a range of colors. Looking at Ain't That Sweet, it reminds me of Let's Skate. It's like a light pink. There's this white one called Pearls of Wisdom, which would be great to put underneath bright eyeshadows to make them pop even more if you're into that. Um, and then Back to Basics looks like a really nice taupe color. So let's see. Oh, and then this one looks similar to, this is Cruise and Chic. They look very, very similar. But Back to Basics is a little bit more gold. So those are kind of the ones that I will probably keep. Hit the Town is also really dark, so I probably won't keep that one, but you know. So they also sent me their 11-piece um, brush collection, which I see these, you know, you can get crazy good deals on these all the time on their website or just at good sales. And, you know, they're, gosh, I just love this brand because it is so inexpensive for what you get. Now, this might be something I end up passing on as a gift because I have all these brushes. But it comes in this container here. And it's, I love, you know, this really is a great thing for travel because... For me, you guys know I travel all the time, and it's got the, you know, any size brush could kind of fit in these little elastic parts, which I really like. But it's got some of my favorites. Their complexion brush is a really beautiful kind of big one to use for powder or blush or contour. I mean, anything, really. Um, looking through these, what else do I really like? Oh, gosh, their powder brush is the best. It's the softest. It's real, you know, kind of dense without being too dense. You can use it for foundation, for anything, powder. But it's just so beautiful. Those are kind of the standout ones. Their eye brushes are all good, and they have a lot of those in here too. And really, in their line of brushes, it's worth it to splurge for the studio line, which they're, the brushes are $3 each, instead of the essentials. There are a few good essentials eye brushes, but their face brushes are really rough. And I always feel like I'm tearing up my skin when I've used those dollar ones. So it's worth the splurge to spend $3 per brush or maybe get a set because they really are better than the Essentials line. So Elf also sent me these gift sets and there are four of them. And so basically it's a, you keep one for yourself and you give one away. And the whole idea is you can buy these and you can keep one for yourself and then they give you one already wrapped in this adorable, messy, glitter packaging um, with the bow so you can take the bow off and retie it onto the present. And I think that's just so cute because you know, sometimes I don't know, as you get older, you get, this sounds terrible, and I know it's gonna come out wrong, but sometimes as you get older, you get less gifts, and obviously Christmas is not about the gifts, and you, I mean, duh. But at the same time, it's kinda nice to treat yourself sometimes. And, you know, with makeup, that's something like, no one buys me makeup, because, well, clearly I have enough of it, but, you know, I feel like a lot of people don't buy other people makeup, so if that's something you love, you almost have to buy it for yourself to get what you want, and I know that sounds terrible, but some of you will know what I mean, I just said it. So you can buy one for yourself and then give one as a gift. And I thought, that's a cute idea. I just love the idea behind that. So there are four different things. One, I kept packaged so you could see how it comes when you order it, but it's a package of lashes. And there are three different types of lashes. Now, obviously I don't really wear lashes, so I'll probably pass both of these on. Um, but it's cute and again, I love it. The other sets, one of my favorites is this e.l.f. full lip set. And it comes with a long wear lip liner pencil a lipstick, and it's one of their moisturizing lipsticks, and one of their matte lip colors. These are all a bright red, which is beautiful. Actually, I think the lipstick might be more of a pink. But either way, I think these are beautiful. I love their matte lip colors so much. So, very excited about that. And again, it came with a wrapped version behind it as well. There's also the e.l.f. Cheeky Glow, which is basically this trio with a highlight, blush, and contour. And it also comes with a, blush, a brush to use with it. And these look like they're all matte, which I think is fantastic and so rare. It reminds me of the NARS ones. And just really cool. Again, it came with the second one to give to a friend. And then the e.l.f. Perfect Eyes set. It comes with this 10-pan shadow palette, which are gorgeous. I mean, there's golds that remind me of Half Baked from Urban Decay. This looks like the Naked Palette, to be honest. It's beautiful. Um, and then it also comes with a mascara and a liner, an eyeliner. So very, very cool. So because they sent me these sets, I am going to give one lucky winner one of each of these. So you will receive, and they'll all be wrapped in the cute glitter packaging, you will receive one thing of the lashes, the full lip set, the cheeky glow, and the perfect eyes set. So you'll receive all four. A second place winner will receive another set of the lashes since I just know that I'm not gonna wear them and four of the smudge pots I was sent, so it's the four darkest ones. You will receive Poppin' Party, Ocean Bound, Hit the Town, and Brownie Points. You will also receive 
the 11 piece brush collection because I have all of these brushes already and how many brushes do I need? I'd rather pass them on to you guys. And a third place winner will receive the e.l.f. blush palette and the e.l.f. complete coverage concealer in medium. So let me know for this one. I know these are kind of more specific colors. So if you are interested in this one as well as the other two, let me know in your entry so that if you do get picked for one of the three things, I know that if you're picked for the third one that this will suit you because if it's not going to suit you, I don't want to accidentally pick you for it. You know what I'm saying. So for that one, let me know if you're also interested in the third place winner as well. To enter the giveaway, just follow the instructions below. Just make sure you subscribe to my channel and comment below with maybe something nice you're going to do for someone this month or just something you have planned that you're really excited to do for someone because I think you know gifts aside and makeup aside and the things we love to get aside I think this month is really more about doing nice things and making other people feel loved and feeling that love in return and you know just, just that, those warm feelings so leave some warm feelings down below to enter the giveaway if you'd like to enter extra times you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter or um, Facebook all the links are below so you can enter up to four times once on YouTube Instagram Twitter and um, Facebook and just let me know um, comment on one of my things either on Instagram or Twitter letting me know you're entering the giveaway and Facebook as well so that I will know um, so happy entering I'll put the date below of when the giveaway winner will be announced here on my YouTube channel and I will catch you guys very soon bye